Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 30 second tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the ternary operator. Now as you can see I have uh, saved a file using code blocks. I have given it the name ternary underscore operator dot c. On line 1 in this file I have my header file. On line 2 I have declared the main function and between the curly braces for the main function we are going to type in the code for this uh, program. Now, before we see how the ternary operator looks and what it does, let's first try to understand what it is. So whatever you're going to learn to do using the ternary operator, you can do in some other way. You can use the if else statement to achieve the same thing, but sometimes the ternary operator allows you to do things in a much neater or in a much simpler way. And it also sometimes has uh, you know, good effects on the execution of your program. And what I mean by that is it speeds things up, right? So there's no harm in knowing what the ternary operator is. I don't use it much as a C programmer. I prefer using the if else statement, but still, you know, it's not going to hurt us if we just have a look at it. So the program that I'm going to make is going to be very simple. I'm going to declare two integers. I'll give them uh, different values. And then I'm going to figure out which of those uh, integers is greater by first using if else and then I'm going to try to achieve, uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do the same thing using a ternary operator, right? So let's get started. Let me first declare my variables and I'll call them A and B. Uh, a semicolon there. I'll give A the value 15 initially and I'll give B the value 10, right? And uh, if suppose I want to check out which of these variables is bigger than uh, using if I'll have to first type in the keyword if within the parentheses I'll have to type in my test condition and uh, that would be a great, greater than b so to see if a, a is greater than b or not we'll have to type in a greater than symbol b and then within the braces for the if statement that is within the if block we can have a simple printf statement that displays the message a is greater then P, right? Put in a full stop at the end, the semicolon to terminate this, and to cover the second case, that is if A is not greater than B, I can have an else block. And uh, within the braces for the else block, we can have another printf statement. And this one would uh, display the message B is greater than A. And of course, the else block would execute only if the test condition would fail. That is, if the value of B would be greater than the value of A. So let me save the file. And when I click on build and run, I see that in the output window, I get the message A is greater than B. And that's because A has the value 15 and B has the value 10. Now, if I would change the value of B to 100, and if I would run the program, then you would see that I would get a, a different message. This time, I would see that B is greater than A. Now, if you want to accomplish the same thing, that is whatever we are doing using if else here, using ternary operator, then what you'll have to do is type in your test condition and the test condition is going to remain the same. So A greater than B, that's your test condition. And uh, well, you can put it in, put it within parentheses. It's not necessary, but of course it would uh, make things neater. So that's, uh, that's why I'm doing that. And then you have to type in the question mark character right so this is a part of the syntax of the ternary operator it's compulsory so you have to keep it in mind and uh, after that you type in your first printf statement which is uh, a is greater than b and uh, then you have to put in a colon and uh, then you have to type in your next printf statement and this would display b is greater than a put a full stop at the end of uh, this printf string as well and i'll put a semicolon at the end to terminate the entire statement when i click on build and run you see that i get the message b is greater than a because the value of b is 100 and the value of a is uh, 15 and if i would change the value of a to 150 save the file and click on build and run again you will see that i get the message a is greater than b so Whatever we were doing using if and else <clears throat> over five or six lines, we are doing the same thing on just one line uh, on line seven using ternary operator. So 
the reason why it's called ternary operator is because uh, it's got three parts ternary of course means three so the three parts are the first part is the test condition part right so the test condition here is a greater than b and you can include the question mark as a part of the first part uh, you know as well so this entire thing happens to form the first part the second part is the piece of code that gets executed if the test condition evaluates to true right if the test condition passes so this printf statement happens to be the second part and the third part is the piece of code that gets executed when the test condition fails or when the test condition evaluates to false so this printf statement happens to be the third part so that's why this uh, operator is called ternary operator in the next tutorial we're going to check out another application of the ternary operator and uh, that would you know clear things for good in case you have any doubts still about the usage of ternary operators and uh, you can uh, ask me your doubts in the message section or the comment section you can put in comments uh, on this video below and uh, i would try to reply to as many queries as possible so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, i'll see you soon